right guys, so this is the new American Cut Legere reed here for alto sax. And I have to say I'm very excited about the arrival of these all new Legere reeds. Legere made a massive splash on the market when they came in with their um, amazing synthetic reeds some years ago. And the signature reed was really the one that sort of defined their success. Um, but they've really upped the level another notch with this new American Cut reed. So that was just a little glimpse of what it can do. I'm going to play a little bit more, get into some more depth later on this and on the tenor as well. But just to give you a kind of broad overview as to what the reed does. So as you can hear from that clip there, it's quite bright. It's got a lot more going on in terms of the upper partials in the sound compared to the signature reed. And uh, the reason why I really compare it to the signature reed, the signature one is the one that's slightly more expensive compared to the studio and the standard. And that's where, at least for us anyway, by far the most sales go through. I think people have recognized for many years now there's a real quality in that signature series read um, where there's a lot more nuance uh, within the sound that's on hand compared to many other synthetic reads. And in my opinion, compared to their, certainly their standard read and for me their studio read as well. So the signature read is a great uh, kind of starting point, benchmark if you like and they've done a lot of R&D um, on these reeds, the new American cut reed, to really deliver something of that standard or beyond it. And in my opinion, I think they've kind of excelled themselves there. What they've done is they've got more of a um, spine in the middle of the vamp. I'll just try and show you with my finger here. So right up the center here, you can actually feel it. There's a definite ridge that runs right up the middle of the reed. So that gives you that kind of body and core in the sound, but a lot of material has been removed on the sides here and here to give it that absolute vibrancy. And so you can hear there, it's a very clear sound, very bell-like, um, it really punches out. Um, I think it's going to make it really great for kind of more contemporary styles, pop, um, some jazz styles. It's not an out-and-out -out jazz read, I would say, it's a bit more on the kind of pop, smooth jazz style of things but I'm sure a lot of people could make it work for a kind of traditional standard jazz, if you like, because it's a very flexible sounding reed. Um, so um, they've been massively successful since we've had these for a few weeks now. I'm sure they're just gonna continue along that way. So I'm going to demonstrate a bit more now on alto, and then I'm gonna play the same on tenor, and on the tenor I'm gonna compare the American Cup read with the, uh, the signature read so that you can really get a gauge of what the differences are between the two. So let's hear a little bit more on the alto now and I'll try and play a few more kind of dynamic ideas so that you can hear the, you know, the different tonal colors that it delivers. <laughs> So as you can hear, a big dynamic range, and it does have that nice kind of undertone to it as well. For my money, it's still got a certain buzziness to it um, when I'm playing quietly, um, even with the kind of softer tones coming through there, um, which is not desirable for everyone when you're just looking for that absolute kind of warmth of sound that you just get with natural cane, as it were. Um, but it's still a very pleasant sound. You can hear the quality in the sound. And I think um, it's just a case of adjusting your ears to it and adjusting the way you play in order to bring out those kind of natural tonalities that you would normally get, uh, those kind of natural colors you'd normally get with cane, 
um, into the kind of sound world that this brings you into. So it's, it's always, for my money, it's always a massive adjustment period when you go from your kind of beloved standard reed cane, whatever that might be, to something like this, you know, if you're just not used to these reeds. It does take um, kind of almost a, a different kind of psychology to, to really get the best out of it. But I can really feel the potential in it. I can see why it's so popular and it really does sort of excite me, the possibilities of this, especially more in the kind of, kind of pop sax world. It, it, it naturally lends itself more to that kind of playing. But I did want to demonstrate kind of the sort of quieter side of it, just so you can hear what it can do in terms of that. So let's move on to tenor now. <laughs> So, same kind of thing as the alto really, very vibrant sound, massive dynamic range and um, it's just one of those reeds you can kind of play all day because it doesn't hold back, the sound just kind of oozes out and I feel like there's a lot more quality in there to be derived from it that I'm not quite getting yet because I just need to spend more time on it, you know I've literally just jumped onto this reed five minutes before shooting this video. So again, it really intrigues me. Um, one thing to note is this is a 2.25 strength, which sounds quite soft, but actually the tenors come up with a slightly different numbering system to the altos. So I was on a two and a half there on the alto, this is a 2.25 on the tenor. And I'm now gonna compare it with the equivalent signature, uh, 2.25, just so you can hear those differences. And I think you'll find them quite marked. So let's have a look. <laughs> So a lot more resistance for me, a, a lot of nice qualities again in the signature. You can hear lots of layers in the sound, um, but a little bit more breathiness and kind of resistance kind of imbued into the sound. And I do like it. Um, for me, my money's on the American cut in that it's just got that raw freedom and it's not like an edgy sound on the American cut. It's not a, a brightness that kills you, it's a brightness that's really enjoyable to listen to, quite frankly. So yeah, overall, I think Leger have done an amazing job with this new reed. I've tried many synthetic reeds over my years um, being in this game, and I'm not always a big fan of synthetic reeds, it has to be said. I find a lot of them can sound kind of plasticky. Um, they don't have the same feel and response as natural cane. I'm a hard man to convince when it comes to moving on to a synthetic reed, but this would be the American cut reeds, not this one, it's down there is the closest that I've found to something that I could really see myself using in a gig situation. I just love its kind of bright response and uh, kind of the full bodied feel that you get, the kind of response that you actually feel yourself when you're playing the reed, which is just as important as the sound that comes out. It's the, the feeling that the player has behind the reed. So they've done a great job in that respect. So I'm now just gonna leave you with a clip of me playing the new American Cut Reed 
versus a cane reed. So you can just hear the differences between them, but I'm not going to tell you which is which. So you're going to have to put your answer to which is which in the comments below. In the meantime, if you like this content, please remember to subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate seeing all those numbers going up and seeing all of your comments. Even though I don't reply to all of them myself, I do read a lot of it and I take on board what you say to heart. So thank you guys for that. I'll leave you with this. Thank <laughs> you.